flash. <laughs> we have uh, just learned that the New York court pursuing Prince Andrew has served the papers on him, which demand a response to the uh, sex allegations against him. He now has until September 17 to respond to them. They were apparently handed to a security guard at Andrew's residence who uh, <laughs> inadvertently accepted them. This allegedly completes the process of informing him of the complaint against him. Of course, the lawyers will argue for a while about whether this is a valid way to serve a process, but as I understand it, it'll be up to a judge in New York to decide whether that's good enough. At this point, that looks quite likely. So once again, we are faced with the question of how Andrew is going to deal with the unattractive options available to him. Let's get to it. Okay, here's a good one. Uh, does Prince Andrew have an acceptable choice in the matter of this uh, civil suit against him in, in New York? And Andrew's in great difficulty after one of Jeffrey Epstein's victims, Virginia Roberts Jufre, filed a case against him in New York. Uh, she alleged that Andrew sexually assaulted her when she was 17 at the London home of the imprisoned socialite Ghislaine Maxwell. Andrews consistently denied the claims against him, stating they never happened. Well, look, he has three choices. He can cooperate with the New York authorities and allow himself to be interviewed under oath. He can endeavor to settle the complaint before any court action, or he can simply ignore the whole process as he's been doing. Uh, needless to say, there are widely varying views about wh whether any of these is sensible and acceptable. So let's look at them. First of all, let's say, yeah, there, you know, he has some reasonable choices. Uh, the civil suit in New York requires that the papers describing the complaint be served on him personally, a prospect he's been avoiding, not having been seen in public since the suit was filed. So he can demonstrably just keep doing nothing and avoid the service of the document. No problem. It's worked for several years, so why would that change? Uh, he may even be able to demonstrate that he's innocent of the claim against him. If so, he should proceed with the deposition. That's another possible strategy. Uh, he claims he's innocent. <laughs> and he could also offer to settle. Most legal actions of this sort are settled before any court action. He might say he behaved foolishly, apologized for any pain caused, that kind of thing. It would have to be without admitting any crime, like rape, for which he could subsequently be charged, both in the U.S. and here in Britain. So, he, he has choices. Well, what about those who say he really doesn't have an acceptable choice? First of all, what about diplomatic immunity? Well, it, it was attached to his role when he was a trade envoy, but not to him as an individual. The Queen is the only member of the uh, royal family who has sovereign immunity, so forget that one. Her lawyer said, uh, here, here's a good quote, he can't ignore the process, he can ignore me and ignore my client. He could ignore other victims and their lawyers, but he can't ignore the court. If he were to try to ignore the court the way he's ignored us, there would be a default judgment entered against him. Well, that would sure, surely involve a lot of money. Damages of this sort uh, generally reflect the wealth of the perpetrator. One estimate in this case is around $15 million, which would represent a substantial proportion of his personal wealth. Uh, settling it ahead of time, that won't work. Uh, the two sides would never be able to agree on what was committed. Uh, Virginia would clearly insist on what she has stated all along, that she was forced into sex with Andrew. He'll never agree to that because any admission of a crime uh, could easily lead to criminal charges, obviously a far more serious matter. Then, then we'd be into extradition. The consensus from legal experts seems to be he would be vulnerable to extradition for such a serious crime. Uh, oh dear, poor Andrew. Well, look, they probably wouldn't clap him into chains, but they'd do something uh, ignominious. <laughs> okay, what's my take? Look, his only real strategy is to continue to avoid the whole thing stonewall it. That means hiding indefinitely. He'll probably have a default judgment in the order of millions, but he knows the queen will cough up on that. But if it drags on for too long, 
the Queen not, might not be there to look after him, and Char King Charles might not. <laughs> oh dear. It's uh, the only uh, attractive course of action. Not a very attractive one, but it's the only reasonable one that he has available to him. Do nothing. Sorry, Andrew. That's the way it goes. Hope you liked that one. Uh, and uh, if you did, please do the usual. Give me a like, subscribe, comment, uh, notify, and so forth. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.